Never mind, I wasn't even audible. Um, that's on me. That is absolutely on me. Um, I forgot to... Let's start over. Okay, um, today's stream will be very short because I have a very long day tomorrow. Um, and I will rig this dress. Currently, if I pose this dress, I will... Uh, it will distort completely, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up some artificial additional bones. We are going to rig some of this mesh to this bones so that um, it does not distort as much, um, hopefully. Um, most likely what will distort are the, um, the sigils that are on the whole thing, but um, not much. I Well, actually there's stuff I can do about it. We'll see how much we can do. Okay, but yeah, I'm here for maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. Um, at most 90 minutes, I'd say. Um, yeah, so let's let's go. Let's start. And step one, we're going to grab the uh, dress. We don't really need uh, Genesis to female for this to be in the picture. Um... Well, I say dress, it's it's more of a garment, it's it's more of... Um... Actually, we had a discussion about this. I think we, we labeled it as accessory. Um, okay, step one. We need to do a few things. I'm explaining them as we do them. I'm going to the geometry editor, so I have the tool settings tab somewhere on my side. I'm jumping to the geometry editor. Um... Geometry editor basically says that all, so that this this um, whole thing is set up in polygons and in, in, in small pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to subdivide the mesh. I was about to say physical mesh, but that's wrong. Um, I want a marquee selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab parts of this. In this case, yeah, I'm growing basically all this stuff here. Um, and what we're going to do is, now that I've grabbed this, I'm going to assign this. So I have like a lot of face groups because this is all the face groups that I used to have when I made this thing in... Hexagon, you can watch that if you want. Um, there's a video about me making this, so if you want, you can just watch this. And... I am having to subdivide this more, because right now it is subdivided into the, um, into the groups of the figures. So it has an abdomen, it has a chest, it has a head... Um, it has um, shoulders, it, had, it has thigh parts, it has a neck, um, and so on. So basically all these things are slaved to the, to the uh, bones of the Genesis 2 figure, more or less. It's a simplified version, but uh, it's what it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these parts from the part they are attached to, and then attach them to a new part I have to make up. I'm going to assign them to this face group, which is basically a placeholder for whatever group. And I'm going to go to the back here, so I have it a bit easier. Um, this is the left shoulder float. Okay. Um... We are going to do the left side of the body first. Um, I'm currently using the, the geometry editor tool and my geometry, my selection type, uh, my selection mode is marquee, so the big square, everything in the square is called. Um, and I'm selecting, I'm, I'm selecting the polygons of this. Um, yeah. Assign selected faces to groups. 
Um, left bust float. Um, okay. And that should be the last. That is the setting for the groups. Eh, double click left hip float. Except, uh, never mind. Uh, that's the waste float. Um, you need specific names for these because you need to basically identify them again later. Okay. And I'm going to give another explanation in a second. Um, I just need to concentrate so I actually do the right names. Left, hip, float. Okay. So the float is just so I know it's the floating part. Um, the left is obviously the left part of the body. Um, so you need to name these specifically so you find them later when you assign them to the bones. That's one interesting, th uh, that's one thing. And I'm not grabbing the whole, um, um, the whole chain here because, um, I basically, um, would then, um, move the, um, move the chain and it would clip through, never mind, it clips anyway, I think. Um, okay, never mind. We're going to grab everything that is the left shoulder float. Uh, that is the left bust float. Uh, we're going to grab the left hip float next. And if I'm using control, shift and asterisk, it grabs all the connected polygons. So we're basically just reassigning these and we're going to include all the um, parts of the um, of the chain link and this one is the waist I think yeah so control shift asterisk which gives us um, yeah everything okay um, other side as well I just mark it control shift asterisk um, assign to group Double click the name, right shoulder float. And it takes a bit of time to process. Uh, this is also due to me uh, having made A images before, so my uh, GPU is actually strained a bit, but that's on me. Um, assign selected faces to group. By the way, these are the the names of the actual models that I made in the in the in the uh, in in the original um, when I when I made the dress in the original video, and we have another viewer. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining. I hope this is um, in some form informative to you or interesting. I'm having this complete dress, which I'm. Uh, currently trying to rig um, and I forgot what I wanted to name this this is the right bust float I think looks looks like it yeah okay let me grab the next one uh, this is the assign selected traces to groups Right waist float. This is kind of big. Is the right left waist float? 
Oh, because it has a purity seal. Never mind. Never mind. The purity seals have a lot of um, polygons. You can actually see that, like, like the left hip float has. So normally they have around thirteen thousand polygons, and um, the seal alone adds about sixty-five thousand more polygons because it is um, because it has these three runes, and they are really, really complex uh, in their form. So. Uh, also, we had a third viewer for a second there. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Last one for now. Sign selected faces the groups. And you are the right hip float. And I think that is all of them. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete all the empty uh, face groups. This one, this one, and this one. The shoulder, interestingly enough, is empty. Okay. Um, and I can show you why. Um, because in a second we will go to so we're, we're done we're for now we're done with the jump editor yeah I'm, I'm starting with the um with the chains we will see how far we're getting with this and after i'm done with this we will see um if i can do the uh, the seals on the clothing or not i think there's only yeah they're only in the front um, and we'll see if I still have the time or not. Um, again, short stream, long day tomorrow. Enough of the renting. Okay, uh, we're going to have to change our tool. We're going for the joint editor here, which is the editor where we have all the bones. So what we need is we need to see all the bones display. Uh, show us the bones. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is all the bones that this figure has. Apparently, it has um, almost all the bones. It doesn't have the hands, but it has most of the body. So what we're going to do is... We're going to expand this from selected. So we have this whole thing um, in, the, in the tree. And I... Thank you. I want to have it like this so I can actually see the whole thing. So, we start by removing the bones we don't need. For example, let's start with the feet. Who needs feet? Uh, right foot. Delete bone. Um, I usually do not go to delete unused bones. It's generally not a great idea. Okay. We need the right thigh. Uh, so, we're going with the left foot and the left shin. Um, I'm keeping the thighs because it covers the thighs. Um, we can go and destroy the head and everything that is on the head. The tongue, for example, we don't need. The lower jaw, we don't need. The upper jaw, we don't need. This is a tedious problem. Uh, I mean, it, it is relatively quick, but it is tedious because you actually have to go through all of this okay um, yeah we need the neck actually um, and now the interesting part the color is what we would define as shoulder and the shoulder is what we would define at the uh, as the upper arm in this so um, um, yeah color color bone and this is the color bone in the actual in the model this is the shoulder bone. And you see that it goes from shoulder to forearm, which we have usually shoulder, uh, upper arm, and forearm. Um, it is what it is. We can delete the forearm and we can... Okay, we're deleting the forearms, delete bone, and the shoulder... 
Is it all? Okay. Okay, this is actually all on the collar. Okay. You can see... Um, you can see what how the mesh is... The mesh is the 3D model. How the mesh is tied to the... Um, to the whole thing. So you can see, like, for example, if I click on the left... On the, on the, on the uh, right... Yeah, we need those um, on the right shoulder, uh, right right collar. You can see what part of the mesh, the the white surrounded uh, area, is actually slaved to the shoulder. And I, I guess this part was slaved to the shoulder and slaved to the head partially um, because of where it is. Um, and I just basically freed that, but I have to do a bit more than that. So it's not yet done. It's it's actually it's, it's a mess. Um, but I guess I don't need the shoulder. Uh, interesting. You know what? We're going to do something else. We're going to recheck by grabbing the Noteweb map brush and checking if... Okay. Okay, yeah, no, we're not going to delete that because you can see there is some blue effect on on this area so we don't want to delete this um but for example i grab the left forearm um you can see there's have nothing there there's no weight mapping here so it doesn't influence the the um model at all so i can just go back to the joint and delete this delete bone um i'm going to explain weight mapping in a bit uh, when we come to this, we will definitely come to weight mapping in this um, video. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we have condensed this down to the parts we need. Now we are at the fun part where we have to actually, like, um, put in new bones. Um, okay, I'm grabbing the right collar. No, I'm grabbing the left collar. I want to start on the left side. Um, and I'm going to right click in the general area, uh, create child bone. Child bone means the um, bone will pop up under this. Basically, the left shoulder is a child bone um, to the left collar because it comes afterwards. If I move my shoulder, it will move my arm. So it's a child more or less to it. Um, it's, a, it's a hierarchy thing. And we're going to call this left shoulder float. So the same name we used for the um, for the other thing, which is called face group. Ha! Um, the Y that X I just used this rotation order because it is the actual rotation order of Genesis to female. Thank you. Now, you can see there's new bone. It is somewhere in the general area, and we can select a group, which is the left shoulder float. Hey, yo. Now it has an area selected to it. Um, this gonna, is going to take some time. Um, now this is going to get laggy. Very laggy. Um... Sometimes I really hate this. Okay, so what we're going to do now, with very with much patience, is we're going to align this bone with the. Uh, the mesh with the mesh that's underneath, neath, which is laggy. It is, it is just laggy, and you will see these these distortions, and they're, they're fine. These distortions are fine; they are normal. It's it's nothing special. Um, and it, it is laggy. It is a laggy process. Um, this is just this is, this is all. It, it always is. Okay. Um, let's check that this is actually... Uh, 
in the right spot. Come on. Yes. Okay, we're going to move this a bit, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, close enough is close enough. Okay, well, this is definitely close enough. Okay, um, it doesn't. So this is the the green one is where where the bone begins. The red one is where the bone ends, and the bone is not aligned because I have not said align all bones. Um, I'm not going to do this after every bone, but just so you see it, if you align the bones, it shows you how the bone actually lies. And the bone has three... Um, dimensions, uh, oh, three axes, well, the usual one, uh, X, Y, and Z, which you can move, and I'll show you about this later. Okay. Um... Okay, this one is bonus. This is pectoral. Actually, I think this should go on. Should this go under the pectoral bone? Let's see. Um, left pectoral. Okay, the pectoral bones stop there. So this is okay. So this is probably part of the yeah. This is part of the chest. You can see that the chest. If I, if I use my finger, it doesn't help you. Um, can see that this is under the chest area. So we are going to um, child this bone to the chest. Create child bone left bust float. Clickety. Uh, um, left bust. Left bus. <laughs> the bus is left. Okay. Again, leggy takes a while. Not a problem. Um, you can also see that the bone usually appears under its uh, parent. So um, the uh, origin of the bone uh, spawns. Right under uh, right uh, response right where the uh, parent bone ends. Okay, which helps sometimes with aligning the bones. You will find some tutorials where they um, first create all bones, then align them. I usually do the uh, part of create the bone. Um, set up a set, fed the right group and then line it because it just um, makes it too much easier later. It, it, it makes it quicker on each subsequent step. Come on. Okay. Only six more bones to go. Okay, so the next one is probably yeah, it's the abdomen. Okay, abdominal, upper up uh, the lower abdominal area. Create child bone left waist uh, float. Um, the name doesn't have to be the same as the the selection group. It just helps you um, putting each. Thing to the right uh, place um, but you can absolutely just like call them Frank and Herbert and uh, monkey and um, whatever else you come up with you can use any name for the bones and any name for the uh, for the face groups as long as you know which one is which this is why I use uh, descriptive stuff like left waist float so I know actually what I'm touching uh, right now it helps okay looks good okay uh, 
okay we're actually getting somewhere with this uh, i'm going to do this from the front uh this see pelvis no pelvis oh this is under the thigh interesting okay create obviously it is obviously it is why am i even surprised um left hip float um, okay. Left hip. Um, yeah, this is... Okay, so there's like the, the x-axis, the, uh, the x, the y and the z-axis, and I usually try to grab the center of this thing. This is what happened with the first time I, I grabbed the, the axis instead of the center, and uh, everything went weird. Um, the alignment of the bone is in important because if, for example, I, I move the bone in, in a, uh, by a certain um, range, um, for example, let's say I turn it, I twist it, then it turns around this axis. Why do I use my hands? Um, it turns around the axis that the bone is set up. Yeah. Um, and this is specifically why... Um, setting up the bone is important because if I later on rotate this for some reason there you are it's a bit high but that's okay um, okay align all bones plop 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 Looks nice. Now we have to do the second side. Um, we did this. Okay, the left shoulder, the left collar, so right collar. Create child bone, right shoulder. This is going to be a boring part because um, it's, it's going to be a repetition of what we just saw. But... If you want to do something, you got to do it right. Right shoulder. Uh, okay. Let's scroll in a bit so we actually see what we're doing. And you can see, yeah, this is this is the x-axis and this is the center point of this bone. And it is really on top of each other sometimes, which makes it hard to grab the right thingy. And here we go. Nice. Uh, right side. Okay. Just move it a tiny bit. Close enough. Okay. So this uh, this bone here is under the chest yeah it's under the chest okay create child bone right bust Load. Eh. By the way, you can still change the rotation order later uh, over this point. If you, if you misclick, it's not a problem. Um, so don't don't worry if you, if you... Most of this stuff is reversible. So it's really not that much of a problem if you mess up a bit. Rigging is a fun thing to do, and it, yeah, it, it, it takes uh, time, it takes uh, quite some patience, but um, you get a lot of cool stuff in the end. Okay, let's see how much we hit that. Okay.
the lag in this case actually helps because um, you you can actually like move the pointer where you have it before the thing gets there. Okay, um, this one was under the abdomen. Create child bone. Right waist uh, float 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 and it gets the right waist and I'm going to drink a the sip don't hate me for my bad manners I'm drinking from the bottle Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, seven of eight. What I should probably do is save this, save my progress. Um, just so it doesn't unexpectedly crash on me, and I will cry and start from the start. I'll save as seen. We call this uh, vestments rigging. Save. Accept. And now we have a point of return. In case uh, the unexpected happens. And we're waiting. This might take a while because he has to save like all the progress that I, all the changes that I made to the dress uh, have, have now to be uh, saved, which takes some time, but not an eternity. Okay. Um, the thigh. Right thigh. Create child bone. Um, right hip float. YZX. Accept. Okay, it now has a an assigned area. And ta-da. Okay, it looks okay. Okay. We're going to align all the bones. Align all bones. Memorize figure rigging. This means this is now the default zero position of this, which is fine. Um, okay. And now to demonstrate um, but we're grabbing the abdomen. I'm going to pose it, posing. Um, I'm first. I'm going to turn off the wait. Uh, turn off the bones. Um, and I'm going to the universal setting. Okay. Um, Example, I'm grabbing the, the abdomen bone and I'm going to posing and I'm going to twist this. You can see that the whole thing is twisting. It looks horrible because usually you couldn't twist the abdomen this far. 
let me demonstrate by grabbing her abdomen hello uh, i can twist it for a maximum of uh ah, 15 points okay so you see that everything moves everything that is slave to it very slowly but it does um now if i grab for example my float my right waist right waist float um and now i rotate this quite heavy uh, nothing happens you can see that the um the edge where the bone is moves so the bone is actually moving let me demonstrate parameters display show bones the bone where is it the bone oh wait uh i should probably use a better rotation this is the twist one uh okay so you see that the bone has like like tilted 90 degrees almost 85.93 degrees um but the mesh that is currently slave to it does not this is because um the mesh or the 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 des doesn't know how strongly it should move the mesh in relation to the bone the bone is moving but um currently there is no uh, weight to this movement this is why we're going into weight mapping and um, we have the x y that rotation and scale weight which is a lot to work on so we're going to do a little trick that i think let me save before should work um the trick be the trick being um that we will grab this whole thing convert it to a general weight so basically it it, it uses x y and that um and scaling and use it uses a general value for all three a general weight mapping i will have to paint the general weight mapping by hand and then um i will revert this to x y and z just to be on the safe side and then we will see if i messed up or if it works um so yeah let's see we are going to start with the left hip float because we are going to start from top to bottom no step one ceremonial um weight editing okay i've used fill by bone selection group and stuff before we will not do that because it will mess up the whole thing and i don't want that um weight conversion conversion try try x so try three axes weight to general weight okay click conversion completed thank you very much okay we're grabbing our left hip and now we have a general weights thingy we are going to zoom in with my not so great mouse um i'm going to use uh, 0 0.4 weight mapping we're going with uh 30 inner radius and uh, sensitivity and now i have like this this tool and i'm going to paint oh this is so laggy this is so f ridiculously laggy actually we're going to do this on one uh, i'm not going to do this multiple times um what i'm doing now is basically i'm telling it hey if i move this um if i move this bone move this part of the mesh really strongly like like you can basically say how strong do i want it to move with the mesh and this is so laggy uh okay what we're going to do is i'm going to save i'm going to close desk studio for a second and then i'm going to open desk studio again
Hello? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, it has saved. We are going to close uh, the studio. Now you're going to see the Night Lord because I put in a background so you don't see my desktop. <laughs> um, by the way, this is the model of the Night Lord which I have made the horse for last weekend. So. I will do this guy this weekend, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Um, I will mostly have to do the horse armor over the horse and then put the horse in, horse armor in, put the knight on top. Um, work, but uh, it's fun. Okay, um, is Death Studio starting? I, yes, it is. Okay, um, hopefully if I reopen this, it will um, open recent investments. Wait. Uh, cancel. I think this is the wrong one. Uh, oh no, Westminster is the right one. Never mind. Uh, okay. This is the whole thing. Um, I hope it is a bit less laggy. Um, we're going. To expand from the selected left hip float. We still node web map brush and. Uh, one. Thirty. Let's see. Uh, it is a bit less laggy, I guess. Yay. Yay us. Restart your computer often. And we're making sure we're not painting too much. Yeah, make sure you don't paint on the, on the other uh, areas of the clothing. It will... It will mess up so much. Not fun. So yeah, sometimes it is good to use a smaller brush size. For example, uh, 15 and 25. And to scroll in because the brush size stays the same. Okay, let's actually go back to 40, 30. Okay, but yeah, scrolling in is like a good idea to just re more or less not reduce the brush size, but reduce the area the brush can reach with one stroke. Because you do not, or you, you can really mess up your, your whole thing here. And you don't want to repaint this whole thing. Like, I've, tr I've tried to, to, to repaint stuff that I broke and... Uh, it is almost impossible unless you exactly know what you do. Uh, which I don't. Disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing here. If you want to actually if if you want to see someone do this stuff who has who, who knows what he's doing. There is a YouTuber called the VP Guru, I think is his name. Is this is his handle? He's doing so much great stuff. He's uh, making so much amazing content. Youch. Youch. Uh, okay. We're going to fix that later. Not a problem. <coughs> but yeah, the VP guru is like um, um, a guy who really knows uh, his his 3D stuff. He's doing a lot of tutorials on Des Studio. He's doing a lot of the tutorials on um, 
Unreal Engine as well. Um, he knows so much. It's 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 amazing. So actually, like, uh, go and watch his stuff instead. It's much better. Um, and I don't say that to to say uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm just saying this because he. It's it's really in, I I really enjoy watching his move uh, his videos. I um I've, I've learned a lot of this stuff. Like like. Usually when I when I look up something, uh, I find a video of, of him uh, uh, explaining it, and it helps me a lot. So, yeah, shout out um, to this guy. He's he's absolutely amazing. Um, and he really explains the um, technical part a lot. Which is so helpful if you are uh, starting working or anything in this uh, general uh, area. Like 3D modeling and, and stuff and, and rigging and... You know, you know what I'm talking about, probably. Okay. Yeah, I wonder why he, why he fracked that so hard. Um... Okay, left shoulder float. Why? Didn't even move anything. Oh, now now he's now he's taking my cursor as well. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, hexagon decides that I do not deserve a cursor, uh, especially when I'm doing weight mapping, and then he just then just like removes the cursor uh, when I'm trying to paint. So. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, I have no idea why why uh, why it fracks the whole thing so hard. Uh, this has happened to me before, by the way. This is like like it's not it's nothing new. Um, he just. I don't know, messes up the whole thing uh, for some weird reason, and he pulls all to the to the origin point. Uh, I have no idea. Sometimes just uh, reloading resets it. Sometimes um, moving it a bit resets it. Sometimes it doesn't reset at all. So it's it's really open to I don't know anything. Uh, But yeah, uh, bust floats and waste floats. Okay, so four is still to go. Five. The one that I messed up, I have to touch again. Uh, this one. Which I can't because he completely mixed it up. Yeah, if if I, like if I if I move the mouse over here, it it yeah it, it jumps, it teleports. Okay, so left bust. Oh, we have a bit more to paint here because it also has the sigil. Where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? And uh, by the way, the color between red and blue is like how um, how intensely is this moved by uh, by the movement. So the more red it is, the stronger the movement gets translated to the mesh. So if I have like a like eh. Okay, the stuff in the background really, really icks me. Because it makes it just harder to paint this without painting on the other stuff. Come on. Uh... 
Art is hard. But it will look cool in the end, so it's fine. Yeah, careful not to paint on the on the uh, uh, on the fabric here, so the fabric doesn't get like shifted when I when I move when I would move this bone. Okay, and I think we got most of this. Okay. Uh, right side. Oh, come on. Don't be mean. Actually, we should save once again because, you know, uh, things crashing. Never fun. Big oof. Have to start again. Or have to at least start at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea why the why the cursor is so weird. I th this is some this is some like some technical stuff that I have absolutely no idea and, and, and no no meaning to to understand because it's it's just some it, it shouldn't happen and it happens and I have no idea why. Um, and I'm not I'm 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 not technically skilled enough to actually find out. But, yeah, as long as I can work, I'm fine. Yeah, make sure you get all these pieces or you, or you will get more fragments later on because then uh, just part of the mesh is not going to move and it's going to look really, really weird. Why are you removing my cursor? Please let me have this. I bought it. Okay. Waste floats. Uh, there we go. Actually, I'm going to remove the bones because it just is not helping at all. Uh, great, my cursor is gone again. Why? <sighs> um, there's also a neat little trick we can do. We can try. Um, which I will show you in a second. As soon as it's done saving. Um, to, to actually get rid of these weird glitches. Or we see if the glitches persist. Okay, so we're going to grab the 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 figure itself. File save as support asset figure prop asset. We're going to name this um, vestment rigging safe. Uh, set category. We don't need. We wanted to set category. It's, it's a wardrobe full body, except. So, oh, it saves it as a prop asset, as a new one. 
Um, I already have it under something. I saved under its addresses and somewhere I don't know. Um, I have to look it up what it's actually what its save name is. But um, I just saved it basically randomly somewhere. Um, and we are going to load this in and see if it is still so completely wobbled up or if it uh, if it just is this instance of it. So we're going to make this invisible, grab Genesis to female, save files is more or less all this stuff that um, is not in another uh, category. Going to uh, put in the investment rigging. Quickly jumping back here. Voila! Okay, so we're going to destroy the first ceremonial thing and we're going to grab the second one which we're currently working on. Um, expand from selected. We moving the two. And let's see. Okay, left hip float, general weights are there. Right hip float, general weights are nowhere to be seen. But you see it is just in, uh, now I have it, now he has it destroyed it somewhere completely else. Why? Oh, wait. I, I know why. Posing. This is not in its origin position. It is? Oh yeah, it is. It is on the zero position. Yeah, I have no idea why, why it just like... <sighs> okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, ceremonial, expand from selected. Uh, tool settings, we are at node web map brushing, general weights. Existing, right hip floats, later. Left bust existing, right bust existing, left waist, no. Okay, so we're doing the waists. Sorry. Ah, got something in my eye. Actually, let's just quickly test if this even works, because if I'm doing this and it doesn't work. Okay, so we're grabbing the right shoulder float. And now if I go to posing and I'm moving, you can see that it works. Um, I have to rework this a bit because not I, I didn't catch all the, uh, the pieces, but in general it works. So if I just like paint over this um, he frags it again why uh, and if I morph uh, uh, pose her the whole thing is still uh, really messed up but uh, okay too too bad This is how it currently looks. Um, 
it follows the body more or less. I, I wonder why the why the why the wait. Uh, so apparently the 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 um, the thigh has crashed for some reason. Expand from selected. Um, These look fine. I wonder why he doesn't follow the the leg correctly. Restore figure pose. Okay, this looks fine. Uh, we're going back to the node weight map brush. We're going into the general weights and we're going to see if we can paint this uh, without it completely exploding. No, we can't. I really... I really sometimes ask myself why I'm doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this bit by bit by bit by bit. Uh, my guess is at this point, so my, my guess is that um, it actually crashed when I did, uh, when, when I removed the bones, that it just didn't like me removing some of the bones because it wasn't really dependent on them, but it felt like it wanted depend to be dependent on them. Um, it's it's really it's the whole thing is very complex, very multi-layered, and 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 um, it's it's his whole own thing. Um, don't ask me anything. I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, the idea is to, at the end, maybe half an hour. Um, hello, why is my... Why is my brush not appearing? Uh... I hope at some point we have a a working uh, dress, kind of. Um, yeah. Sometimes it really likes to to to. Uh, okay, we're going back to joint editor. We're going back to note right, web brush. Hello. I have a tool selected. Why will you not give me my tool? Fine then. Well, oh, this one is not fragged. All right, no tool. Okay. Okay, uh, sorry for the for the lag. I have no idea why this happened, but uh, we're back. I guess I'm just overdoing it a little bit with with all the stuff I want from my PC right now. Um, mm, let's watch it a little bit. Uh, I need more monitors. I need more monitors. Okay, let's start this again. And let's see how hard he, 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 he screams at me. Westman's rigging. Let's go. Ah, we're back. Uh, come on. 
expand from selected. So we just uh, exp um, expand this one. This one has general weights. So oh, not completely. Let's see if we can finish these ways. So if it just is going to crash on us. Yay. The yay. The yay is real. No idea. This is just hard ridiculous. Okay. Okay, we're going to grab this. File, save as figure prop asset. Uh, yes, we would like to replace the vestments rigging thingy. Step by step. Sometimes you have to work step by step by step. Um... But yeah, it doesn't seem to blow up my PC, so okay. Um, that's good. Okay, let's uh, remove this and put it in again and expand from selected and check all the weight maps uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. left hip float general weights existing right hip floats what are uh, I'm, I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared to just like like click. I know what happens. You know what happens. Everybody knows what happens. Okay, this one looks complete. More or less, this one looks absolutely not complete. At least control the uh, works. I have no idea why. This is this is the main problem. I have no idea why because then I could just stop it from happening. Um, one idea I have is like I'm removing. I'm just putting it in independently of uh, Genesis to female and see if this works. Maybe, but I, I don't think so, but maybe. Uh, expand from selected. Let's just see what happens. Nope. Nope. Okay, looks like we got most of this, so hey, point here, point percent. 
Vestments rigging, shafts, override, except. I mean, you should at least save the chain that we made. Um, let's see how far we come in the next 15 minutes. Um, actually, before before we go any further, let me let, let us check one last thing. Because what happens if I use the imported thing? It saved the thing about if I repose it, then it should... I don't know. I mean, with the current um, thing that happens, uh, the best thing I could do is... Um, Re-import the whole thing. Don't delete any bones. Just add the bones and paint it. This is probably the easiest thing to do. Um, but this is also for me, like, like this is something you will do. If you do 3D modeling, if you do 3D animating, rigging, um, the known fuck around and find out thing is, is a thing you do. This is... Uh, right hip plot. Okay, hey, he, he at least saved the, the, um, the, uh, weight mapping. Okay, and if we, if we pose this now, poses by function, uh, all of these looks horrible. Walking. Um, it it it, it 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 destroys it less than I thought. Big plus. Um. This one is actually completely intact. This one ain't. I think we were able to paint this one without... No, we weren't. Okay, right shoulder, left shoulder. Uh, yeah, so once I finished this, I can actually like, like just... Once I finish this, which I will not do today, I will do it tomorrow and over the next few days. No, tomorrow I don't have time, but I will finish this over the next days. Um, step by step by step. And I mean, I can actually pose this in the end, which is cool, which is what we wanted. I guess what he's fragging is some part of the uh, weight mappings that he, did, that he doesn't like anymore because of my changes to the bone structure. Might be a good idea to actually delete all the bones when you're done. Um, if you do this, try this one. Do it at the bones and then you delete all the bones you didn't use and all the face groups you didn't need. Um, that's it for this stream. I hope this was a helpful video. I hope uh, this was an entertaining thing. At least if you could have like like a choking laugh whenever this happened again. I think it became a running gig at some point. Um, thanks for watching. And stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys. In the next one.